Who is director? Director is a person who is responsible for the management of the company such as CEO, CFO and COO. Director duties can be divided into two categories. First is loyalty and good faith and second is care, skills and diligence. We will focusing on duty on loyalty and good faith. The first duty of the director is to act in good faith for the interest of company. As a director, he or she cannot make decisions based on self-interest and greed. They must focus on the interest of the company. They need to prioritize the need of the company over their own. The second duty of the directors is to act for proper purpose. Directors must exercise their power for proper purpose. Two matters must be considered. First, the objective purpose for which the power was granted. Second, the purpose which actually motivated the exercise of the power. The third duty of director is to retain discretion. Directors need to make sure that the decisions they make are independent and any decisions made do not limit, restrict or prohibit any future directors. If the decisions have any of the effects mentioned above, the directors who make the decisions are in breach of their duties. The last duty of directors is to avoid conflict of interest. Directors are obligated to promote the interests of the company above and apart from their own personal interests. When a conflict exists, it is the director's duty to give preference to the interests of the company. There are three companies, Ampol, Award and Millers. Ampol and Award were competing takeover bids for Millers. Millers allot shares by favoring awards. Hi, good morning ladies. Hi, Hi good morning. morning. Okay, today I meet up with you all because I want to inform you all that we have two companies want to take over bid our company which is Empel and Howard. Em but Empel already holding 55% of our shares in our company so they have a possibility to take over our company. Do you want Ample to take over? I disagree with that. I am not prefer Ample to take over a bit our company. Yeah, me too. But now, Ample is holding 55% of our share. Yeah. We are majority shares holders. So, how do we avoid it? Hmm, I think... I think we need to come up with... We issue more shares to hold so that we can make uh, Ample become a minority shareholder. Yeah. Do you all agree with that? That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that. You're so clever. Of course. Yes, deal. Okay, deal? Okay. Deal. Deal. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Millers issue more shares to reduce the majority holding of Ampol Petroleum and also to provide additional capital for the company. Hi, Miss Miller. Nice Hi, to meet Mr. you. Hi, Mr. Ampol. And today, the purpose of meeting is I want to make a takeover bid of your company, which I already hold 55% of your company share. I and know. I think I have I able to take over your company. Why do you think you able to take over my company because I am the majority shareholder of your company 55% is still not enough for my company I still need more capital if you want to take over my company you need more than 55% this doesn't make sense I am I'm the director I know that it's not fair okay no but fine you balik lah and Paul sued Millers and challenged the allotment is void for improper purpose by issuing the shares the judge make the decisions that Silas, please. The court made the decision that the allowment was not valid. <clears throat> the dominant purpose was to alter the balance of the power and this was not the purpose for which the director power to allow shares 
had been given. <coughs> the director has not been motivated by any improper desire to retain control. However, it was held that their use of the power to issue shares was for an improper purpose and therefore unlawful. Now, I will dismiss the April holding that the director use of their power to determine <coughs> the sales price of the company shares could not be regarded as a proper purpose. Thank you. Millers misused the power by issuing more shares to block the takeover by Import Petroleum. Therefore, court cancelled the allotment of shares. These are the four duties of the directors and the directors must fulfill these four duties. Thank you.